What? It'll be on YouTube. Uh, I think it's, I think you can type in Bern County, Bern County, Kentucky, maybe, and it'll pop up that emblem. Yeah, man. Yep. Work. I don't want that to work. That's how it's gonna work today. I can't help because I can't do your hell, Tony. I can't help because they didn't come down come me. That's their problem for the uh, Tim had a problem. His wife yeah, his wife been doing something by searching with the knee down here. My wife may have that she can't hardly walk. Thanks, can she? Her leg, her knees for I said, you get along with my guy. I'm going to tell you right now what's wrong. We like, we like. Are we? We got to wait to get somebody here before we start. You want me to call Kenneth? Really? Yeah, Kenneth. He'll be here. I believe he's here. Yeah. 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 Y
and everybody's running about their yard yesterday. And I'm thinking, what the door? I'm just talking to it. I'm like, all right, you want to go to the bar? And right now, she has to get in the water. She is in my head. One time they started setting up the motion about the derby that happened. Yeah. Derby that happened. You got your guard going yet? No. What's that, Melvin? I'm ready to go. I'm sorry, you got plenty of people. He's going to give me some chicken. Is he? I'm like, what makes she think I'm going to be from my own? You got to get that chicken good one with you. Yeah. Huh? Oh, well, I'm okay with the tabs. I'm not too much. Yeah. Yeah. See, with last year not being out there, they don't know me. So they know Donald. They don't they don't know me. Well, it's time for them now. Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> Adoption of a portion of a private road for a school bus turnaround. And I want to update on that. Mark, um, Tim Coomer's uh, not here today. His wife had surgery. And just two of us are Kenneth and uh, me. So um, Mark's going to give us an update on this uh, school bus turnaround. Got all the information. First, I'm giving this a uh, Update is because uh, uh, this road is in my district, District Number Five. Uh, for those that don't know, this is out uh, 1297. It's about 7.8 miles out. And there's seven children currently being picked up off of 1297, picked up family drop off. And uh, it's quite a dangerous situation for the children. <laughs> One, one is special needs. Uh, there's been some near misses you know, with the school bus and, and trucks. And so uh, that's where I became involved. Uh, I think I was made aware of that. Uh, half met with property, uh, the property owner. There's one property owner that, uh, that owns all the property on one side as you come in. Uh, what we're looking at is, is, is adopting a portion of this road into the county system 
so the school bus can get in and we'll, there is a instructor turnaround and they'll have a safe place to pick up the kids and drop off the kids and then the parents that are coming to the bus will have a safe place to bring those children to. Uh, did meet with the American school system. I met with uh, Bud Terry and Joey Bunch. That was on March 13th. Well, I'm sorry. Uh, that was on March 29th. And uh, Billy was there too, present when we met them. Uh, the state has done a couple of things. Of course, 1297 is a state road. And so they have done a couple of things. They have uh, working with the school system working with the state, they have been able to put up a couple of uh, school bus signs, uh, both coming from Glasgow and then back to Glasgow, in both directions. Uh, and then uh, they talked to us about that, the, uh, the stopping distances and things of that nature. Uh, how many feet required for a school bus running a certain miles per hour to stop? And uh, we discussed that. And uh, so after we met with them, uh, I think when we left it the last time we had a, our fiscal court meeting, which is on March 13th, and uh, in order to adopt or open up part of this county road for public use, we have to adopt a resolution. And so the county attorney has uh, has uh, made that resolution. She has prepared that resolution, I'm sorry. And so uh, I think that's where we're at. So I think uh, we're to the point now that uh, this committee, my suggestion would be uh, that this committee adopt this resolution and, and bring it to the court for a discussion and before the full court so we can discuss it and, uh, and get everyone's uh, uh, input on that. So uh, I think that's the steps that, that I know of. I may hopefully haven't left any out, but if I have it, when we have full court, I'm sure the county attorney or somebody will correct me, but that's as much as I know about it at this point. But anyway, the bottom line is we're just trying to, you know, it's one of those things that uh, uh, where we need to do the right thing for these children. Uh, to have a safe place to get on the bus, a safe place to get off the bus. Or, and it just seems like that adopting a portion of that road, uh, we haven't got the best ones yet. That'll be later. I would I would assume that our county road supervisor, uh, once the resolution is adopted, then they would be required to, to measure that distance and report that back to the court. Uh, but, that's the steps as I know it. If I left something out I, or omitted something, I, it's about, uh, we said, we're saying probably about two, two tenths, I'd say, but they don't want to turn around, you know, blacktop or what are we going to do to it? Because they tear it up, turn it around, he said. It would really have just like it is gravel. It's already got gravel there. But uh, I'd say it wasn't over two tenths, I'd say far. Well, I, that's why I didn't say a measure yeah. because I'm not sure. Not sure know, either, but we just can't. The county road, well, the way it's, the way it's I think, in the KRA statute, it, it says the county road engineer, or you know, in our case, the county road supervisor, you know, be required to, to give those numbers. You know, once I think that would be after we adopt the resolution, because if the resolution's not adopted, then there wouldn't be anything that you need to measure it. But, does this resolution put this road in the county road system? Well, here, here's what it says. It says, whereas Barron County here, hereby recognizes the necessity of opening a public road, it gives the address, 
on Bowling Green Road for the purpose of public safety. Whereas there is insufficient visibility on 1297 for school bus stops due to, to the topography of the land at this address. And what that is, uh, and that comes into, into play uh, mainly when you're coming from, uh, well, no, when you're coming back to Glasgow because uh, people are having to negotiate, there's like an S curve, and then there's a real sharp elbow turn, and then so many feet down where they stop that bus. Uh, so that, that, that's what it means by the topography. And it says, where is it? The address is to pick up and drop off for seven school age children, including one special needs child. And uh, Barry County School System is not permitted to utilize the existing drive that is currently privately owned. And therefore, be resolved by the Fiscal Court of the County of Barry County, Kentucky, as follows The county will open a public road at this address at Old Bone Green Road. So, to answer your question, Kenneth, I would say I'd answer yes to your question. Sounds like it. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. That's all I, I know about it, Billy. I know, I don't know you're, you're with me because you're transportation. Yeah. And then I went there and looked at it. I've been there two or three times. Yeah. It is a bad place. And the trouble is the speed. It's the speed that it is. Yeah. They don't, they don't never let up when they see that sign. Oh, 97, I mean, uh, it, it's Glasgow, Barron County is growing. Uh, it, you know, as, as our neighboring counties are growing, you know, it's more and more traffic. Well, I'll make a motion we adopt this resolution <laughs> and bring it for the door. I second, and also, if you're trying to protect the kids, you may be protecting other citizens who would be having a wreck trying to dodge that bus. Oh, yeah. That's that? I don't know how this works. Can I ask a question? Sure. Or is on that one? I'm just asking. Sure. Well, I mean, I'll... It's on that one. Only question I would have, where, you, where you're going to adopt this, will this meet the county road standards in this two tenths per mile? Well, the standards that I've got here, uh, Ms. Richie, there's three different roads when it comes to a county. It can be a, a local, a collector, and an arterial. And there's different requirements for each of those. Uh, in this case, I think this one would meet the, the local uh, because that is a uh, says pavement or surface width 10 foot. Uh, I, Judge and I measured it, it's already existing 12 feet. But now the property owner is more than willing if we need whatever how many feet we need uh, on that one taking. I mean, for, the, for these kids. Uh, and then he gives other ones, but I, I think what I'm reading here, and I forget which PRS statute this is, uh, but, uh, you know, uh, there's going to have to be some things done. To, to bring it totally up uh, to where it needs to be, you know, you know, uh, probably some ditching, some widening, and, but but uh, yeah, that was my main question. But with the property owners' uh, willingness to work with us, I, I don't think I think whatever is needed there, she's willing to do. I just it. want to be clear that we're oh, yeah. still maintaining our our ordinances and stuff for our county, no matter what it might say. That was my that was my main question. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you. We don't need for Kyle to be installed, is it? Well, I uh it might have been extended down at the road. My to make it wide. Of course, the, the state has done some work since 1297 state road. They have done some work uh where you come in and out there. But uh more than likely, time you you get in there and you know we do all this. Uh, I uh, I don't I don't even remember if they, if they put in a tower. I don't know. But I'd say the state did. I, I would think they did, but uh, it make it, we may as we get into this. But whatever it takes, the property owners willing to work. So 
I mean, I think we've got a great situation here. And, uh, you know, a great opportunity. Is there even a need for the tile ever return up to 97? Well, does it lay sloping or no, what? It drops down. So there, there's some dropping now. They have built that up some. We don't want to run the water off the road. No, I don't think we'd ever run the water off the road. No, it's the way that I don't think so. Okay. I don't think so. But, but, but uh, you know, it's once we bring us for the port, and if it proves before the port, then of course, you know, our kind of road supervisor will be able to tell us all that. So. Well, we've done voted for it. Yeah, I'm, it gets us up. We'll put it right before the port and see what we do up there. All right. Well, we before we leave this, if y'all got any more questions, maybe where I need to do some research and ask some people some questions before the port. Will there have to be any more land taken where the bus pulls up and turns around? Or uh, I doubt it. Might have to be some gravel put in there. Well, there again, you know, it'd be, it takes yeah, a lot right. of room to turn that bus around. Well, but but, but there, there again, they're willing to give whatever it's going to take to get this done. So, uh, but to answer your question, I mean, that's going to get back to our, our expert. Yeah. Which is, Did he say if, uh, the bunch boy? They want to pull up and back into it. Yeah, you're talking about their, where they're, where they're going to turn right Yeah, he, He'd rather pull up and then pull up and, if, and the bus will stop right here. And all the, the ones that are bringing the children say then they can stop right here in front of the bus load and, up. and then they can load up and then he'll back he'll back into that turn and now he'll go. You know, rather than pulling in, back, he said, no, he said, we'll stop, we'll pull up here. Yeah. We'll back in that turn around. Uh, we'll load them all up and I'll pull up. Well, you mentioned a special needs child. Is there a separate bus for that? Well, I think right now, I believe she's transporting them in a, she's, uh, I don't know. I like she's got that. some kind of lift system or something on, put on a van. But if, you know, but if, if we were to do this, then there is a special needs bus for Marion County. They pick up children. Pretty sure. So, yeah, I think if we do this, that that special needs bus wouldn't be as large as a school bus. Oh, no, no, no they're small. They're they wouldn't, hey, as long as wouldn't have any, any problem back then and turn around. I wouldn't think so. Cam drives one. He, 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 he did drive one. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of room over right there. With the okay. turn, is it? Yeah. We've got plenty of room. Whatever we need. We, she no, you meant to move the fence up there. I don't believe it. It may have people going to left hand. Whatever. But we'll, we'll bring full forward. All right. All right. So the next item we got coming up is review and approved bid specifications for road material and supplies for 2022-23. I've only got a couple of changes that I'd like to see made on this new list. Uh, on the crushed stone, I'd like to check mark out the mixed sand and make it class I sand. And then on the road oil, I'm going to put a couple of areas for the pre made mix and for a holiday. You don't have that on the list for me. Yeah, I've okay. got it right here. I've okay. got it fixed on this one. Okay. That's the only things I want to add for change. So we're, we're going to send that out for bids, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's all I'm going to do is make a motion for the course to send that on bids. Okay. And then how long is time? We're going to have to be a month. Yeah, then we'll, we'll have another meeting before. Before. Yeah. All righty. Sounds good. And the next item we got is the authorization of uh, the Keiko Road reverse option. We do this every year, I think. Don't we? we do it every year. I know the dates are coming up. I reached out to the gentleman about the dates. He said the dates were coming soon, but I don't. He thought it was going to be sometime this week. I may have the dates by court meeting. I'm not sure. Yeah. Well, I just, know, you know, in case to keep us from having to have a special called meeting yeah. to be able to participate, just go ahead and do it now. Yeah, okay, we'll go ahead and get it in, get it approved, and when you do it whenever it comes. Mm -hmm. um, next item we got is a uh, road equipment. She'll be in on all that. Okay. Um, 
as of yesterday, I have a picture. We got our diesel truck in. We wasn't supposed to get it. It wasn't supposed to be made till June. Um, he contacted me Wednesday. They delivered it yesterday. Um, I know y'all approved for the contractor bed last fall in September, I think it was meeting. But with the price increase, I'm going to go over the amount you all approved. So it's going to be 14 4 to get that 11 foot contractor bed put on that truck. 11 foot bed on a one that's on a truck sounds too long to me. Uh, we measured it according to the way they told us to measure from the cab to the center of the axle was 84 inches. 84 she said inches. would require 11 foot bed. Well, normally you put a 10 foot rock bed on an 84 inch cab axle. So, and if it was, I think, 56 to 60, we would have to use a 9 foot bed. Right. right. They do have it in stock. You can put a nine foot bed on a 72 inch cab axle, but I mean, that's that's the going rate, growing standard. Yeah. They bet just uh, 14 yes. forward. Mm -hmm. okay. And the only reason I'm coming back with it is because the price increase, it won't match what y'all are free. How much is the price increase? Uh, a couple of three thousand dollars. Sure. I'd have to go back and look at my paperwork from then, but and that's installed. Uh, also, a buffer hitch assembly. That's everything. Fold down sides and hoists. And does this have a plow mount on the front? Uh, this will not include, well, they were supposed to uh, do the heavier duty for snow plow. We'll have to get the plow separate. But I'm not really going to worry about the plow. We'll we did get one of our plows put on our truck and wired it. <laughs> We ended up paying somebody to do it because, or do the wiring on it because it's going to be too much slicing. So, so you've got two one ton trucks in stock now. Is that what you're saying? I've got all three trucks now. You got all three. Trucks. I got all three of them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we got more. Uh, did you say we had more uh, equipment? They're working on now. Um. Uh, I got a bill yesterday from our boat tractor. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh, let's see here. I need approval to get a purchase order. It is $6,384.72. 63, what did you say it was? 6384.72. Let's go to what now? Hydraulic pump. And before y'all ask, in the last six months, we spent a little over 16000 on that tractor. Because of you haul. Now, this is the, the sidearm mower. Oh, the sidearm. Are you gonna, is he going to give you a bid or he didn't say a difference in buying a new one? Um, he did give me a price if we were to trade that one in. Uh, for a new one, he would give us forty-five thousand for that tractor. A new one is one hundred fifty-six seven fifty-two twelve. One hundred fifty-six what? Seven fifty-two twelve. So you're talking about over a hundred thousand swap bid. The difference in the new one. His explanation to me, the difference in the new one is the mower and the tractor will be self-contained. Not everything's going to be run off the same. Well, I've got the specs here if y'all want to look at them. Yeah. Bumpa came on the tractor is not equipped to run that boom over. But it's running both of them. How old is the unit we are talking about trade? Uh, the one we've got now, yeah. I think we got it in either 17 or 18. I'd have to go back. To it. I think it's got 4,000 and some hours on it. And I think we'll give 70 some thousand for it. I'd, like I said, I'd have to go back and get That's not on a very long service life or something like that, as far as I'm concerned. It takes a beat. I know it does. It, I do too. It, it, it takes a beat. <laughs> Well, you could probably use two of them if you had to play a man. And you would need more people. Yeah, you'd have 
just have more people that's on land. That may be a problem. How many people do you got now? Um, if my calculations just off the top of my head, I've got two that just came back this week for the moment. They're out eating. We can start mowing Monday. Um, counting my co-op students and myself, I believe that brings me to that 19 people. Well, so you're going to start all next week, did you say? Mm -hmm. Well, everybody's growing pretty fast. Come I on. was going to bring them in this last week, but of course we had rain this mm -hmm. week, so. Where, where do you start? Mowing? They started from the barn. They're going down the right hand side of 249, going toward the lake, District 5, on around that way. That's basically the way we did it last year. And I will be pulling one out of the barn for that. Because I only had two people come in. Well, what's the status on trading a new island directory? Uh, that's something else I've got to talk to you about. That. Talk to you. That's what we're having trouble with. Isn't it? Yeah. Any other questions on that? I don't know. No, I don't know. Hey, back, ready to go. What about the new roller? Uh, still shooting for possibly June, maybe July. <laughs> I spoke to him. Uh, we have rented one because our other one went down again. So we, and if uh, everything goes the way I'm hoping, we're going to start next week trying to pay for some. I just had some more material brought in. So. The roller you rented though is not as big as one we're getting, no. is it? No, it's like the one we rented last year. Right. Four foot. Three foot. Well, it's the best you can do. Yeah. What about get yours? Um so the tractor you were talking about. Yeah, the tractor. The difference in the last uh, estimate I brought you is this one has is equipped for a front end loader. That's the difference. Um, also, too, I believe June, possibly July for late June on a new tractor. On the boom mower, would be September or October. The 35,000 still stands. That he 45,000 huh? 45, for the, the, the sidearm, the regular tractor, the new column that we have in the bottom, 35,000. Okay. But the new hauling right. tractor could be used as it is to mow with. We have a lot of trouble out of it when we go to use it. Every time we go to use it, we have issues. But that was just a tractor that wasn't including the mower. No. And, and you pull, if, we, if we trade, we're going to hook that one. You pull the bush off more behind the new hollow. Dennis Gossett does a lot of mowing, of course, in the state. He's bought a new land ride mower. He thinks it's better than the bush off. We used to have land rides. You can't, he hadn't got it yet, but he's jumping up and down waiting on it. So with the price they gave me for the tractor, minus the 35, they would leave it at 17,882.91. That's, that's the difference. Mm -hmm. It's three years old, three or four years old. Already. Uh, we got it that fall before we contracted out the next year. And I think we started that in 18, probably. Right. And it's got about the same amount of hours as our new That'll be, uh, I mean, that's probably a good price. We're having so much trouble out of it. To get rid of it. I mean, well, so for right work. now, for yeah. right now, that tractor's not going to be used. Yeah. So be as a spare. Well, you said the new tractor was loader equipped. Yeah, it'll have the arms on it. Does it? 
you you mean just the brackets, not the loader itself? No, it's just the brackets and arms. So. Well, does that include the joystick for the loader? I'm sure it does. I've got the quote here. You can look at it and see. Wondering how much extra that loader kit would be over the rotary tractor, can it be? Can it be obtained without the loader kit? Well, right now, he gave me that price. Don't have any of the regular tractors out there. That's not bad. Well, it, it'd be worth more than you sell it. If it lasts a while. I think we ought to trade. It sounds good to me. Uh, I was like I said, I've got price, the specs here. If y'all want to look at the specs, I've got the specs for the new Tiger Mower. If I don't get anybody else in for the mowing, um, my way of thinking is, is rotate, rotate these tractors out each mowing cycle when they come in after the first one. Service, do whatever needs to be done to the one and put somebody else on the new one and it goes out and rotate them that way that one is not set. That way they get, if we have a problem with one, that we've got an extra one they can go with. So you're talking about it the first cycle of putting the new island in, in, into the. Well, if, the we get a, if we get a new one, if we get a new one, I'm going to rotate the tractors out each month. Of the that way, if there's anything that needs to be done to them, then they've got a my own cycle too. Fix it. I say I'm not for that. Yeah, for for no more difference in it than there is in the, in the trade-in value, the trade-in price. I think we might ought to get rid of that thing. Yeah. What do you think about the market? You're not supposed to say anything, but what do you think? You still think, can't you? Well. <laughs> One I'm married with Susan, I think it would probably be beneficial for us to trade the new home. Yeah, she's telling us pretty much that's what I've said. She's telling us. So, well, do we need to approve for the court to do this? Or? Yeah, it's yeah. still everything that's going to be TG would bring up TG. And I'll give Billy the, the space that way. I'd like to know whether that. Loader kit includes choice differences to brackets. Choice differences. Got two of them. Uh, let's see what you got. Loader preparation package $1,800. $1,500. Oh, fifteen hundred dollars difference. Okay. Bill stack on bit valve with joystick control. Does that answer your question? Yep, that's eleven hundred dollars for joystick. Plus fifteen hundred for the brackets. I'd rather not spend that money for that choice ticket bracket, but well, the, one, the one like what we had, they, they don't have any. That's why he priced me this way. He thought they did it when he went back to the thing for it. You ain't going to find a hundred dollars for a record nowhere. That's what I do want. Is that everything we got? Like so? I think so. Have somebody make a motion to adjourn. I'll make it. I'll second. Let's go home. <laughs>